right, man. Again, man, I appreciate you guys for being open and honest tonight. Tonight was a great conversation. We got a beautiful conversation for next week, God willing, that we wasn't able to touch today. Um, so we're gonna go across the room, man, with those last gems of the night. What's up? What's up? What's up, brother Neff? Man, start us out with a big dog. We got seven people in here. All right. Um, so my my gem for the night is uh, this is confirmation because um, me and my homegirl Jen was speaking about this uh, after um the last show that we did on Sunday. We was in the parking lot just chopping it up, you know, about the scriptures. And our pastor uh, was preaching about it today at church. And um, I thought it was uh, very, like, heartfelt. You know what I mean? My bad. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought it was very heartfelt because um, we were speaking about, I think, 1 John chapter 2 and 1 John chapter 3. I believe chapter 2, verse 9 through 11, talks about if you hate your brother and sister, you live in darkness. Chapter 3 of 1 John talks about if you hate your brother, you commit mur- you, you, you committed murder. At you, you committed murder. You feel me? And it's funny because uh, our pastor, what he's doing at the church now, just for the month of June, he's going to preach first before praise and worship. Because a lot of people, when they come to praise and worship, they get to the praise and worship and they just buck, they just bounce. You feel me? So he just started with the preaching and he started talking about that particular verse. So I just want to advise all my fellow believers in the faith, like, you feel me? I know that when we watch the news about these mass killings, that these murderers, man, is doing these things, we be like, yo, damn, that's messed up. That person deserved, you know, jail time or the death penalty. But as believers, according to scripture, you're just as bad as that person. You feel me, bro, when you hate your brother and sister, according to scripture. Because scripture tells us that, bro, when you when you hate another brother, you commit murder. And I'm like, why is that? Why, why, why does the scripture say it's murder? Because it starts at the heart. So if your heart is like you hate this person, like you don't want good for them, you as bad as that other dude or that other person shooting up places because in the eyes of God, bro, you're dead wrong at heart. Yeah, his may look bad because he got the gun out and he's shooting everybody, but you're just as bad because you got no love in you. You feel me? So I want to advise on my believers that if you got a problem with somebody, you don't have, like, don't hate them. Like, you may not have, like, the best relationship with them, but when you hate, you know what I'm saying, like, murder's on your head. And you don't want that on your head because... The scripture says there's no eternal life for that person. You feel me? So that's my gem. Sister Tasha. I don't have a gem tonight, guys. So everybody just be blessed. Mm -hmm. Stay in Christ. That's it. Big dog care. Um I got two points. One, um, the first little gem is about the topic when it comes to sex. Um um I'm with uh, the free spirit woman. Um, you got to have, you know, you got to talk about how y'all going to handle that. Because I believe that sex is a very, very crucial part in the marriage. It can make or break it sometimes, depending on other aspects in your marriage. But you should talk about how y'all going to handle that. And two, um, <clears throat> I had seen my homeboy earlier today. And we had like a little serious conversation and stuff, you know. Some people... You might feel like you're not where you're supposed to be at in life. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? Like, you seen something different back in the days and the future didn't pan out how you saw it was supposed to go. Mm-hmm. Just know that at the end of the day, you just got to keep going. You feel me? You don't know when your time for to be your time, but when it's your time, you're going to see it's your time. So keep on moving. Queen, that's my gym in light of what we're talking about today about giving your body over to your spouse and taking vacations from them or how long you need before you can speak to them again. Uh, Just remember that when we try to do things in our own flesh, sometimes we won't be able to accomplish all those, you know, rules or whatnot. But if you ask God for help, just say, God, I know I'm supposed to not be angry with my husband for this long. Help me. You'll be amazed by how much grace he gives you to do what you got to do so don't think you have to do it in your own strength just pray about it and just ask for help and you'll be amazed how he could open up the lines of communication and whatnot but always invite him into your situation praise god Jeannie renee um i say praying for you know the community just this nation like every time you pick up your phone somebody just died like everybody is if you just it's just so sad you know, it was like, I remember when I was, before I had my Remy, I would be like, oh, dang, they lost their kid. I'm not saying I didn't care, but it was just like, 
and that's sad. But it's just like now when I see it, it's just like I, I be crying. Like it's, it's like your it world. really it really hurts. Like and it's just like I'm raising a black a black baby, a black boy. So it's just like that's gonna have to go into this world. So it's just like you know, I keep your prayers up. Really, you put your faith in God. Yeah, because it's it's crazy. Out here. Like you can really see like God is on the way. Like yeah, Jesus is coming. <laughs> like, Amen. Amen. Free spirit, Sister Ja. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing anymore. I feel targeted. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. So I feel like too much of something is not always good. So too much of being like set in something or too much too much of being set in something can all t- is not good and all too much of being too laid back is not good either so a healthy ba- a healthy balance is good that's all i got balance is important Amen. It's just niche. i want to thank everybody for tuning in um yeah so my gym tonight is for whoever that's um feels like they're alone and they're suffering they're going through something that they don't want to go through i want to say that you're not alone we're all going through the same things it might not be uh, specifically exactly what you're going through, but we're all suffering. We're all going through something that we probably don't want to go through. Um, and yeah, that's my gym. Amen, amen. Sister Nisha, go ahead and end it out with a prayer for us. Okay. Lord Jesus, I just want to take this moment to thank you for who you are and giving us so much grace, even though we don't know um that you're giving us grace in that moment and in that hour um um i just want to say thank you for us building this platform and thank you for the viewers lord jesus because they are growing and um they're growing with us as well because we're not perfect um we don't have all the answers but um we're just showing the people that even though we're imperfect you make us perfect and um you're giving us a voice so we thank you for that and um Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen.